I mean, there's nothing quite like Bowen, is there, in terms of its minimal kind of approach, the fact that it's very light, which people like that, that they're not manipulated, uh, but it's very gentle, that you can work through clothes. Working as a physiotherapist and a chiropractor, but now that I've met Bowen, more than 95% of my clients are treated with Bowen only. I know we talk a lot about addressing the whole body, but it absolutely does that on, on so many levels. Um, structurally, emotionally, it affects people's immune system even. On the latest developments in the field of fascial research, particularly those aspects that I think have a relevance for Bowen therapy, of which I'm a great admirer. It can change the water binding uh, into a more liquid uh, and, uh, and softer binding property. We know now when we work on the fascia, which we do, we affect the autonomic nervous system in a very positive way, that we stimulate what is called the parasympathetic. This is your rest and repair system. And we do that very specifically in Bowen, in a very clever way. I mean, I don't know how much Tom Bowen knew about this when he was working, but it's incredibly sophisticated and, and intelligent. That fascia then is our richest sensory organ. It is richer than the skin. It is even richer than the sense of seeing. It's the most important structure in our body. Every single muscle, every single myofibril, Every organ, every blood vessel, every nerve is surrounded by fascia. It's our communication network that serves the whole body, that serves the nervous system. If you feel the connective tissue under your hands getting softer, within a few seconds, within a few minutes, it's probably not that you have broken down the collagen type 1 fibers and suddenly created collagen type 3 fibers in such, such a short time, but that you have changed the binding property. And they often say things like, it feels like a weight's been lifted, lifted off my shoulders, you know, that kind of thing. So there's an emotional component too those kind of physical changes. I know now that the bones are just a passive structure. The bones will go where the muscles will lead them. When I was doing adjustments, I was putting my patients into alignment that was uh, according to my perception. At the moment uh, the patient goes around the corner, he will be misaligned again. So this is why I love bone now, because it affects the muscles, which are the active structure. If we're able to correct the muscle imbalance, if we're able to release the muscle tonus or maybe increase it and bring it to balance, then the bones will just uh, adjust by themselves. They will follow the muscles. Our understanding now about this is that we hold trauma in the body. So you get certain kinds of reactions happening after, after you do Bowen, and often quite a minimal amount of work, that you might get changes in what we call the autonomic nervous system you know um, and and things like gentle kind of shaking is a is a clear sign that people are releasing trauma through the body by uh, performing light and gentle moves over the body we are immediately increasing the parasympathetic activity which will uh, initiate the repairment will improve the digestion and will also uh, ask as requires to sleep, because sleeping, digestion and impairment are part of the parasympathetic activity. About creating balance and stimulating the body's own healing response. And one of the ways we do that is through encouraging sort of deep relaxation. I haven't found anything more uh, beneficial, uh, more useful in my practice than bone.